I'm back again, bitches. Hi there, citizens. My name is Frederick. Probably failed his SAT again because he really sucks at the reading portion. Chin. As you may know, I did not upload last week. Also, how y'all liking the new? You like the new lens for photography, but it also doubles up as video. That's called making use of your resources, folks. But as I said, I did not upload last week simply because. I needed a little break. And I appreciate you guys for always being understanding. No one commented, Frederick's dead. It's just every now and then, I have a midlife crisis at the age of 16 because I I think the universe is telling me that I'm gonna die at 32, which is, you know, great in this day and age, right? But sometime this week, I lost track. My two year anniversary on YouTube came up and I wanted to do a little Q&A, which is why I went on Discord, if you didn't notice. By the way, Discord link is in the description. We have a great community there. It's just you know, full of gays and 12 year olds. But anyways, I haven't read any of these questions and there are too many, so I might not read all of them, only the juicy ones. And I just haven't done a Q and A in a while and I wanna answer your questions because I can't respond to everyone. So let's get started, shall we? This is me posing for my little thumbnail I'm doing here. How much have you screamed at this week's Drag Race? For all of you who don't know, it's like the gay, America's Next Top Model. It's like the gay American Scott Talent. It's like the gay Project Runway. All of those combined into one except gay. And I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, Ben should have won. When did you know you were gay before you came out? I knew, I, it's not really a thing you know, it's a thing you feel, I want to say. It's always hard to explain, but it's like, you don't know when you're straight. It's just a feeling you have. And since I was born, you know, back in 2008, uh, I, I've always felt like different feelings. I knew I was different and I never had to acknowledge it or anything. I just own up to it and don't give a damn. Would you rather be 10 minutes late or 20 minutes early? I always try to be early to anything because my family being of Asian descent and traditional values, we have a saying that says, if you're late, you're, we don't have a saying, but my parents have always been early to everything even like hours early to stuff because we just want to be safe for some reason. And also there's nothing wrong with being early. How would you feel if someone was late to your birthday party? You know, wouldn't you want someone early to help you decorate stuff? Cause you, you always procrastinate that long to decorate. When did you start gaining fame? Ever since I showed my face to the internet because everyone seems to crash on me still, which that's fine, but, <laughs> but being serious, there's not something called fame, you know, we're all kind of like losers on the internet, so no, have not gained fame. Would you rather be cheated on or cheat on someone? I could never cheat on someone because my morals are not that low, unlike people in high school, certain boys, a lot of boys. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you know. But I just, I know I can recover from being cheated on. And plus, I just make a video about it. So if you wanna cheat on me, go ahead. Your name's on the internet now. Your fake name, that is, Susan. You know, I never say real names. Unless I hate you that much, then yeah, your real name will be on here. Are you still vegan? I've been on and off. Um, ever since I was vegan for like two years, back in high school, I think. No, I'm still in high school. Back between like eighth grade and freshman, I was very serious about it and I learned a lot about like health and nutrition. So obviously I hold some of those values today. I, I'm not gonna eat junk food every day. I will eat candy of course, as in fruit and sour candy because that's 100% good for you. Just saying. But I'd, I'd always wanna go vegan. There's nothing wrong with it. If you had to change your outro, what would you change it to? This is always hard because I, I really like my outro right now. I've always done the less than three thing because it's something I hold in my heart because cancer, you know. But if I had to change it, I'd probably just do like... <sighs> what was the craziest thing you did for a crush of yours? If nothing, a friend of yours. I... I'm trying to think of the craziest stuff I've done with the crush. I don't really know. I don't initiate that well with crushes. I kind of just like let them linger and let them torture you mentally and emotionally because that's what crushes are supposed to do. But for friends, I've done kind of too much. I bought plan B for someone. <laughs> um, uh, if you're watching, by the way, this is what you get. 
for being friends with me. You get an intervention online on YouTube. That might be like one of the most extremes. Um, I never had to like hide a, a deep, dark secret that no one can know because I can't keep secrets. But yeah, uh, plan B. Mm. That was a that was a kicker. What are you looking forward to the most in 2018? Um, I can answer this in a comedic way or I can actually take it seriously for once. So I'm gonna try to take it seriously. I want to try to focus on my photography more because if you don't know, I have an Instagram that's my photography account. And I recently found a huge passion for it because I just got into like what I know the most and what I like doing the most. Which is also why I have trouble time managing YouTube still because it's photography is draining because Wow. And of course, I always want to grow my YouTube life. So if you have friends, because I surely don't have enough, tell them to come to my channel. And I'm also looking very forward to Melanie Martinez's new album, which should have come out like two months ago. If you could be any cartoon character, who would it be? I don't really know. Um, also, there's a siren in the background, so sorry about that. People are dying, you know the usual so i don't want to answer it as a cartoon character i want to do like one in shows and people love to put me as the the gay character because that's that's so funny you know like you're so cool that being said i always see a lot of kurt inside of me from glee people have compared me to uh that the the gay nerd in um how to get away with murder can you play the crusty crab music on recorder for us no that's for a separate video okay will you marry me no not legal. What's your religion or what are your religious opinions? My religion is wokeism and this religion revolves on knowing a lot of conspiracy theories and understanding how the earth can work in different ways. <clears throat> I just want to say, I said the word revolves and then talked about the earth. If that ain't Kamita Gold, I don't know what is. You're also a full-time believer of the Mandela Effect, and your favorite show must be Black Mirror and nothing else. If you had to choose between Steven, U Steven Universe, oh my god, of course there's a cartoon character. If there's any cartoon character I relate to, it's Pearl. I'm a Pearl. But if I had to choose between Steven Universe and No Orange is New Black, I have to pick Steven Universe because it's, the, it's beautiful. Would you rather have cereal without milk or guacamole without chips? I've actually had both. Guacamole without chips just is like, it's just like a fat salsa. Plus, I went to school in elementary school with whole wheat Cheerios. Why do people think I'm so weird? Can someone relate to me? Whole wheat Cheerios taste amazing by themselves. Can anyone understand that? Comment below. Will you say your middle name? No. Never. What is your photography secret? Teach me your ways. Um, follow Brandon Wolfel a lot. Are you an optimist or a pessimist? Extrovert or an introvert? At heart, I'm an optimist and socially I'm ambivert because when I'm very happy, I'm an extrovert and when I'm emotional, I am like Squidward. So that is most of the questions. Thank you for everyone who gave me them. If you want to give more, just go to Discord and I will every now and then announce like, hey, Making a Q&A video, y'all better freaking write a question or else there won't be content. And I will try to answer your question next time. Also, I'm not gonna be that YouTuber who makes like a Q&A video every other week, cause that's content, mm hmm But if you enjoyed, give us a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about, you know, like the new lens. Oh, and thank you for 11,000 subscribers. I did not acknowledge that, but like, <laughs> a lot of freaking people a lot of people enjoy that meme music video so they'll be coming soon and uh subscribe for videos like every you might get one a year but i love you guys and everything is less than three goodbye <laughs>